Welcome back everybody for Just the Tip Tuesday. We are here again today with the forest for a couple of tips on some storage options for you. Now in the forest, we have built-in storage methods for a large number of items in the game. Everything from our logs, sticks, rocks, to, you know, ways to store our drinks, like the cokes we find, the booze, our meds, even weapons, meat, bones. But there are, with all of these storage options, there are certain things in the game we cannot store at this moment with version 0.67. In the game, there are currently two items that we have no container mechanism that we can build to store them, and we are limited on what we can carry amount-wise for these. Those items are, of course, the ropes and our skulls. Now, skulls are a little bit more critical because they do despawn very quickly after you burn a cannibal body. In the current state of the game, if you place down a blueprint and begin building it and then cancel it, you will get a refund of some of the items that you have used to create it. This is extremely useful when you place a hanging skull lamp and place a single piece of rope in it because when you cancel it, that rope will be refunded, which means you can now place multiple hanging skull lamps with just the rope added and you will be able to then come back at any point, cancel them and get that rope refunded. The hanging skull lamps can also be used for storing skulls, which will do the exact same thing as the rope. When you cancel it, you will get your one piece of rope back and your one skull back, which can make these a very useful way to store your ropes and skulls. Now, another item that you can use to store certain things is the bone chandelier. You can use this to, of course, store bones and cloth, though with bones, we already have bone holders that we can actually build and then cloth we don't have a limit on how much we can carry so really this only works for being able to store a larger number of skulls in one place however i had four skulls placed into that bone chandelier and when i canceled it i only received three back which means that you will have a bit of a loss if you decide to use the bone chandeliers as your storage medium for skulls now, you can use the bone chandelier with just two skulls placed and cancel it, receiving both skulls back. However, because of the amount of space this takes up in comparison to two of the ceiling skull lamps, you are going to be better off just using the skull lamps to store your ropes and skulls until you need them. Just be careful that you don't accidentally press that last time and place sap there. Because sap is one thing you readily will come across as you chop down trees. So you can be very likely to accidentally press too hard, press too long, and create a skull lamp where you meant to have it just for storage. Now, another useful mechanism we have for storage is the catapult. Now, this can be used to actually store things such as skulls. It can also be used to store pieces of meat like the small pieces of generic meat you get from birds and squirrels that you cannot hang on the drying rack. You can use it to store the little pebbles you find around the area that you can throw, and even use it to store tennis balls if you wish. Honestly, in this regard, I think skulls would probably be the best thing to use this for storage if you are expecting to need a lot of skulls at some point. Now, obviously with the ropes and skulls being both available to store, through the ceiling skull lamps. An easy and efficient way to do that is to build your own little platform since they do have to hang from something. And as you can see, I've done the same trick I've done on my survival and creative builds. You just build a couple of rock walls and I built them a little higher so you can actually reach it, though you technically could build it lower and then kind of squat down to make it work. But once you build the walls, you simply build a floor uh, not following the path, but actually placing the points on each corner to create yourself a little hanging shelf top platform. And once you've got the platform, you just place your ceiling skull lamps or your chandeliers, whichever you want to use, unless you just decide to use, of course, the catapult. Well, that's it for this video. It was just meant to be a quick one to show you how you can actually store your ropes and skulls in the game currently as of version 0.67 in a future update this may not work because of changes to the way these things function or we may actually have 
usable storage mechanisms for ropes and skulls at some point. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button. Make sure you also hit subscribe and tick the notification bell if you haven't already done so, so you can keep up with all my content during the week. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Keep up with everything there or just to say hi to me. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video.